Hello everyone, this is Don, Kingdom 362, known as Gun Musing Game, and we are at patch 3.0.0, 300, not even, 3.0.0. Alright, it's the armory upgrade, big, big uh, patch upgrade for the armory, and I like it, I kind of asked for it, so I should like it. Uh... What this patch does is it does change the game dynamic a little bit. Uh, if you've seen some of our previous videos on spreading the rally damage out amongst more of your members, doing your alliance research to increase your rally slot, and stop relying on five guys who spend a bunch of money and like to go around and use their C40s to beat up C15s, uh, the, there's ways of beating that thinking. It's just been in the game for years, and it's hard to go against the tidal wave of conventional thought. Uh, but math doesn't care about your opinion at the end of the day. So, what we have here with the new uh, patch is a simplification of how to build the gear. Uh, now... They swapped out the patterns for ingots uh, on the upper three sets. So Sun King's got its own ingots, and Retribution's got its own ingots, and Demon Hunter's got its own ingots. But Duelist. Duelist is now 100% free, folks. There is no excuse not to have Duelist plus 5 on your account at the very minimum. The patterns drop for free off of beasts. You go out and you kill some beasts. And you see here I've got almost 600 of these things laying around just from, you know, I, I could, matter of fact, luckily here for the video, I can go build a duelist set. So let's say I am going to be under someone else's rally and I don't have a duelist ring right now. So I will go in here and... I'm going to craft me a duelist ring. Why the duelist ring? I don't know why I closed the rally, I think. So, let's go to the ring. Benefits. Oops, I'm on the wrong ring. Benefits. Right there. Battlefield treatment, plus 4%. Alright. And... The boots are plus eight percent, so I probably should have built the boots first. And, but I got enough stuff laying around to build boots anyway. Uh, the beauty of the duelist set is one: these patterns here, these these battle patterns, basic battle ingots, uh, drop for free off the beast. They're very generous with them. If you got level twenty plus snakes and stuff going on, they drop forty a kill. Uh, so to get a hundred is a half a day of stamina. So it's it's not a big deal anymore. Now, uh, your other materials, shooting gallery, of course, uh, they didn't require a lot. So refresh, reset up. Uh, let's look at our shooting gallery here real quick. And I missed that. I hate missing guard X exp. Let's look at our shooting gallery here real quick, and we will reset the targets. Now, I'm set up here for Craftsman's Tools. You all saw me working on my Sun King gear, and the Craftsman's Tools are still a, for especially for the Sun King gear, yeah, if you're trying to do that for free, good luck. The, the big benefit there in the Sun King gear is... I, I call it a, a, a hole, but your plus one, two, your plus one, plus three, plus five doesn't have the same effect that it did in the Retribution and DH gear. Uh, they moved those stats off the uh, enhancement and moved them into a full set collection stat. So you kind of get it at zero, and then what you're gaining is 20, 30 points as you enhance your gear. So... It's different than it used to be. Uh, see, they're dropping 
they're giving away retribution. I mean, they're just trying to do everything. They, the The goal here is to still make money. It's a business. People like to sleep indoors, eat three times a day, and while the youth of today think everything should be free, that's only because mom's kitchen is the cheapest place to shop. All right. The For the rest of us out here who have to have a job, income has to apply at some point. The So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to our equipment. Or refresh. Refresh. This would be good. I don't like this craftsman's tool here if I'm shooting for duelist. All right. But the 18 right there, I'm going to start. I'm going to get it every time. I'm going to reset. Start. All right. And I'm over here wasting my shots because I absolutely do not need frags. Uh, but the point proven, I can sit there and get two coins per day. I can get a rare frag in five days. It takes five days to build that piece. Uh, that's just from the shooting gallery. Uh, you know, and go two coins de deep in here and get all my other stuff. You still are going to get rare frags from other places. Uh, specifically, the best place to get these things is, is once your kingdom gets, what is it, four weeks past its King's Challenge about your second or third KVK, they will start opening up RG camps that are that have level 30 bosses in them. And anything above a 26 will drop chess. Uh, we get these level 6 in there. I'm getting rare frags from the rank 6 boxes, some hunter world keys. It, it's good loot at that point from those RG camps. So the six level 6 uh, RG chess. And then also the level 4 aristocrat. And open that. For getting badges. Alright. And then all the events have got loot on them. So do your events. Always be doing your events. Uh, so on our armor now with the new armory we're going to change some of our strategy suggestions I, I, I got six farm accounts and I kind of waited for this patch I knew it was coming and I wanted to see it before I do one called uh, a video on building farms because if you're not in the catacombs being able to come down here and buy your silver and your iron, you know, then it's not a farm. So, you got to do your catacombs. And you got to do your spirit mines. All right? Got to be able to go in there and buy up your silver and your iron on your spirit mines on your farms so that your main can do things like build its airship. You should not be buying silver and iron, banners, other crap. You might be doing banners. Uh, I, I, you know, that's a, that's a reflex to say and don't buy banners. Because now, I'll tell you what we do a little differently than we did before. And that is in our alliance. I'm going to show you our alliance celebration. All right, our alliance celebration, we got to drop in aristocrat badges. If we were an older kingdom and everybody was close to 30 going for 31, this would make sense anyway, even though I still see guys going, I need banners. If you still need banners after being in a kingdom for six months, you're not logging on, you're not doing your dailies, and you're not getting enough banners from when they had the banners as the only reward for six stinking months. 
cut loose the person who's screaming, I still need banners after a kingdom six months old. All right. We are not six months old, and I am swapping between this, the aristocrat bounty, and the banner bounty from week to week to week. What this has done is given all my C24s, C22s, C and, and, and up a free bounty every week in badges alone. And for those of us that are about to push 30 and looking towards 31, I am, it's only going to take six to seven weeks to get my thousand badges this way. All right, so I'm still getting them from my rank six boxes, my rank four aristocrat boxes, my rank six guard boxes, uh, and I'm still getting them from uh, the uh, other places, and now I'm getting them from here as well. And I'm just not selling mine for hero loot, all right? But at the same time, my gear's built. So as I get other drops from the shooting gallery, I get to sell that for hero loot. So it, it six of one, half a dozen of another. You just swap out what you're doing. So we're going to look at our armory. Okay, and what I want people to do, you can set your alliance up any way you want to, but this is smart for us. Okay. I'm looking at the battle set, I'm looking at the new recruit, and I'm looking at lieutenant set. And I've got trap stompers, the iron helmet, the heart locket, and the ring of protection. Do not do these other two. All right. We're doing these four. This is my heel gear. And it is also my troop building gear. So these four pieces here. Now the other place you want to be is in economy. We want to go down to this majestic set. And you want all five of these things. You see I plus five of these things. I did this yesterday when the patch came out. All right. I went in there and I had millions and millions of ingots uh, steel just laying around that I couldn't use because I was waiting for other stuff. They changed this stuff around. I had already spent, because these things are so powerful, I had already spent 80,000 gold just to get the patterns, and I probably spent another 60,000 gold trying to plus one them. Uh, yesterday, I went in there and clicked buttons and got them all to plus five for free. So now, I'm plus 67 to my iron gathering speed. Uh, that one's another plus 22, so I'm almost 100% on the gear alone. Today, folks, it was the first day that I logged in, went over to here, collected, and had enough food after doing a collection. And I only have three farms and two pieces of wood, and I had enough to go do a thousand build on all my troops. I got I got almost four million from the from overnight. Uh, that was the first time since I've been in this game that I've been able to gather from inside my castle and build troops from that food. Which means that any future kills, I'm bagging it for growth of the castles. So, doing this for your gear is smart. And, we got, as a matter of fact, I've already got stuff. So, let me go find like a level 7 tile here and we can demonstrate the speed at which we are. Gathering iron from. And we are all over these things, aren't we? find a six I'm going to grab it just because that'll demonstrate speed oh. there's a six occupy 
pi make sure that it's a full and and, and you don't have to clean up the tiles there's nothing worse than guys who nibble uh, but I'm not requiring a lot of troops to go out there and uh, clean that six tile up 13,500 of just the infantry uh, and just so you don't have to wait four minutes on a video wagons ho And it's still painfully long. All right. One hour and 30 minutes to clear that level 6 iron tile off. Uh, this will get you somewhere. If you're diligent and one of these players who logs in every, every you know, if you set timers and say, okay, I'm going to go grab all that stuff and every hour be on a new tile, uh, you can gather somewhere between 9 and 13 million a day. Uh, it's not that hard. Plus, I still got instant gather and I'm going to activate and see I'm a half a million food now because of my bonuses to my gear. Uh, all of this works out good. So, uh, don't ignore the gather gear. So, this is about making choices. So, you're wanting to grow quickly. So what I'm going to re start recommending is for the people who've already skipped it, and they probably have, and they've been working on their, their combat gear and their duelist gear, and go into the armory and work on that economy gear. So as you're growing, uh, you see I, no, I gold spin when you could buy the patterns, and it was a lottery. Now, for those that don't understand why they're taking the lottery out, it's not because they wanted to take the lottery out. There's actually laws in two countries now. And we've got, in the United States, we've got congressmen who are wanting to call the lottery inside the games and, you know, so addictive that they want to call it gambling, which their purpose is for doing so is not to protect people from their money, but is to tax uh, it, to be able to pass a, a, a tax on this thing as if it was gambling. Uh, so the games are updating. They're taking the lottery system out. This is better for us anyway. It's actually going to be more profit for, for GOG in, in the long run. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Demon Hunter is 99 cents a pattern. You have probably seen all these screw GOG banners flying across your deal uh, because they spent thousands of dollars on their gear and they spent thousands of dollars to be special and they're no longer special uh you know i'll be honest i spent thousands of dollars on my freaking battle gear here uh you know and anybody that knows it's like 350 dollars per piece to get these things maxed out to plus five uh, it's not the best place to spend your money. The difference between DH5 and Sun King, literally about 80, 80 points. If you're not willing to spend $2,000 after you buy Sun King, after, I'm not talking about to buy Sun King, after, you will not beat your DH5 gear. All right? Or, or Rec gear, which they're giving away for sticking damn near free. Uh, they've give they're giving away those ret ingots now. Uh, I want to keep seeing patterns. They're giving those things away because there's a high rare part cost there. It takes longer. You're gonna spend five bucks to build a pattern once a week. You know, 
that means the way they got that figured out is it takes you five days to cook the pattern and you wait a week wait for another week's paycheck and all of a sudden you can build another pattern and buy that many parts that's how that math works out but if cost savings is your goal buy the ingots for 99 cents you see i've got a full set of them uh god i could build my demon hunter set right now uh the only thing I've got an issue with on this right now is A, these ingots aren't sellable to the hero store and B, uh, they're not tradable. Uh, and I know why they're not tradable and that's because it, it's exactly what would happen is you'd have entire alliances that did nothing but trade these things. Uh, you know, so as soon as somebody bought Sun King, they'd be giving away their ret set. You know, and they don't want that. that. That's not how you get to sleep indoors and eat every day. Remember, that's that's the goal of uh, creating money. The, uh, you know, by letting you sit around and play video games all day and complain about somebody else with a job. So, once you've got these four pieces and these five pieces you're maxed you can you are growing at maximum rate and speed uh, at that point the splendor gear and the gems are the only thing that cut down the RSS you cannot grow any faster than what you see that's on my screen right now this is max rate of speed uh, and then everything but my Sun King is maxed out so the luckily you can trade your steel as long as you haven't uncrated it so i don't need steel i don't wait a minute it's a good question here uh sun king enhance i do need steel to enhance my sun king all right and i'm woo, just about there to get one more piece so uh If I go in here, enhance, and then, so yeah, this, the steel comes from a lot of places. It, it drops off mobs and RG camps, and uh, you can go grab it from the munitions exchange every day, which would probably be a good thing, because you can't get stolen from when somebody loots you. Uh, but, the excuse, down here in the private area, this stuff's all free. So there's no excuse uh, not having this set up to uh, do list plus five. Now, the plus five is five million steel bars. I think I, I went and did it on another tune this morning. I should have waited and done that on film, but I really didn't know what the answer was going to be, so I don't want to film it live and then say, whoops, I didn't have enough. Uh, but it was about a million to get to the plus five, and I actually didn't have enough to plus five the whole set. Uh, so, but I've got farm accounts that are level 24 that have no gear on them because I'm not spending any money on them. But now I can actually go in there for free on those farm accounts and put Duelist plus five on there, and now my farm accounts are. Uh, plus 400 on their top lines and you know running the five six hundreds in the in the bottom lines they now my farms help with night siege uh, they will pull their weight in uh, any of the uh, red guard raids so farms are no longer a drag on the overall uh, alliance the problem's going to wind up being is you're going to start displacing members for farms so that big players can grow uh, I myself have six farms uh, to feed myself RSS for the 30-31 push uh, and more importantly that stinking research that sucks down silver and iron so Speaking of the devil. And there's the other beautiful part of that. Now, I told you to go in there, 
and grab this. So look, my research speed's plus 26. And my research speed's plus 26. So I got plus 52 on my research speed. So I can go on my research. And right now, I'm actually doing developments because I have maxed out my combat. Uh, actually, I'm lying. I'm done with the development as for yesterday. Okay, so I'm actually in here doing economies. And like I said, the first time I'd ever logged in and uh, been able to build we are that was the first time I'd ever been able to log in and build uh, a full set of troops off production alone because this sword up here that's in that one set plus 60 to per productions and I think this ring here yeah plus another 20s so and then we've got our max troop upkeep reduction if you ever want to know where that number is it's, uh, state stats alright I lose a half a million food per hour okay and that's with maxed out gear uh, so max out gear and I got some guard cards on that are reducing that number so you're gonna bleed your food off uh, but the beautiful part of it is I'm growing so there's 40k And then there's bonuses in here somewhere. But once you run out of food, right? So I'm growing at 120k per hour. And then once you run out of food, you don't lose anymore anymore. Any you don't lose it anymore. And uh you're storing up quite a bit of food for the night. Like I said, I only run three farms because I can get enough food out of packaged stuff. You know the uh, the stuff that doesn't bleed off over here, and now that I've got that gear maxed out, I'm really going to start focusing on getting all this iron and silver up to snuff. That's I might even start burning speed ups on the stuff. I don't know. Uh, the all right, guys. The armor is straightforward and simple. Uh, Things that we're hoping for uh, from the developers, because I do know some of you guys follow me. Guys, guard cards are a nightmare. Uh, the guard, I, I need a get. I need this guard area to look like the airship. Give me slots to put. Say, here's my gather guards. Here's my, you know, task individual people with individual tasks, and frankly. We need that third uh, gear slot. The because uh, this is my f one set, but I've I, I bought the Opus. Set. You know, I, I've got my Splendor gear on. I paid you ninety nine bucks. Frankly, make that part of the Splendor gear. Uh, here's your build gear slot. You just paid us ninety nine dollars for it. Thank you. Here it is. Uh, that way I can keep my $99 gems on the stuff that helps me increase my research speed and click a button and build without having to go in there and swap six pieces of gear just to click one button. Uh, you've got, you got to remember the goal here is to create endorphins through clicking, not piss me off because I have to click. All right. Got to keep that in mind. Uh, you know, when you're proposing your development projects of what you do next uh, the airship is a great setup where we go in there we got the tabs duplicate that in the guard area and the gear area with some respect to the money that's been spent you know a lot of these guys are throwing the fits out there it has to do with the fact that they spend thousands of dollars and they feel like you know, they, they went out and they bought respect. They didn't buy gear. 
and then you turned around and gave everybody this stuff for a dollar or, or for free and you they feel slighted so uh, this is a don't wait too long to fix this type deal and I'll tell you another thing that would be nice would be a single gather button the uh, or just have this stuff actually yeah a single gather button just click boom done the uh, just for the annoyances purposes of it all right so get out there kill your beasts kill your RG camps get your steel get your ingots you're still using the shooting gallery uh, it just got easier and frankly guys if 80% of my alliance was duelist plus five I'd be tickled I really really would be tickled I mean it's if you'll show up do the stuff uh, but before you go crazy spending money doing gear stuff get the stuff that grows your account remember you're gonna need RSS forever so focusing on maximizing your RSS gathering and your RSS growth with that orange gear that I showed you is a great long-term play now I it has taken me six months and I, I think plus three was as best I ever had on it uh, now I'm plus five all in a day um, tickled with the increase in speed that means my castle is going to grow faster uh, and once since I've already built five farms guess what I'm going to do over there they're all going to be throwing five six seven times the amount of loot at us so uh, for your personal growth for the farm growth get this stuff done uh, get your duelist plus five on if you're a small account and watch the 60k rally videos watch how to join rallies make sure you have the spine breaker set up for a 60k march uh, and then use the RG camp uh, for reinforcements at 60k uh, where we, we turn around and if you put 60k in that spine breaker calculator and everybody goes oh your mass wrong over here on the RG camp it's actually not wrong it's the it's brought down to a point where you can reinforce four or five guys with a proper RG artillery free march uh, during an RGR raid and score lots of points remember the spine breaker is designed to make you better not make the numbers look bigger so the uh, if you want to you should be able to concept the math there if you want to max out your your marches every single time we're not trying to eliminate all thinking from the game it is a strategy game some thought is required uh, all right folks some great videos that have come out here lately uh, I got the comments on updating my content on the website guys it takes a long time to build articles and yes they have changed the game uh, but there is a business practical portion of this I cannot go delete content uh, it takes almost a year to get solidified in Google and they're updating content every three to four months so I will go back and annotate that the content is out of date but I will not delete content so check for that when you're reading the the articles and trying to get a little deeper into this stuff uh, I will put a little something of a strategy up in writing uh, for this one of the reasons we do the things in writings is we do translate it to other languages as is in uh, in writing when we can uh, that has a high cost to it uh, so I've been slowing down on that it's you know it, it's almost five six hundred bucks to translate to six languages per article so uh, you know I got you see I don't even have my gear maxed out yet so uh, but some of that has to do with how much we hold back to do the articles 
All right, guys. So pay attention to what you're doing. And I gave you your focus goals there. First, do your gather gear. All right, we're going to recap this. Economy. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Uh, you don't have to go for this set. The purple set is outstanding. And it is only 600 gold to buy the patterns you need if these haven't dropped for you. The basic development ingot, if you haven't gotten those to drop, it's very low gold spend to buy these in the harvest set. All right. So uh, don't be afraid to do these in purple as you get started. And uh, honestly, guys, uh, while the gathering is good, the trade, the trade benefits, the trade capacity here, that's the stuff, man. Plus 75 percent. I will. I actually can't show you that. Uh, or I can. So 350 without a card on. You guys don't know this secret, Chancellor. Cigar there. Do do resource help. So let's say I gotta send somebody some food. 420k per trip. So I can send all five marches out and be and be dumping two million food at somebody in just a couple minutes. Uh, so the tasks for the days are really cut down. All right, and for those that are watching there, that's my count awards, my blue card there, uh, because he's got plus 23% resource gathering speed on him, and you can buy him from the hero store. All right, and we showed you how to get those hero coins up by using the aristocrat badges on the lower accounts. So if they'll just donate like they're supposed to get in there and do your donations and uh, so that you have the uh, chests open but also gathering from the alliance mine farm whatever it is you got that that adds points to that for the week so don't miss out on that all right guys uh get that gear going first you'll really want to, if you've ever watched my uac videos you'll really want that heel set because it cuts your gold spin down all right and then really what that allows you to focus on is you won't be spending money on silly things like the outer shell and the castles and appearance. Literally the words by the congressman as I was talking about. Uh, you will be focusing on game improvement stuff. Uh, your airship, the uh, airship abilities, you know, getting all those to plus six, which maxes them out. And then start getting your coat of arms up, you know, getting that stuff, you know, moving it from purple to yellows. Uh, and you can see right now we, we, we've already done some of the training in the, in the house and everybody's now, they're going up on their, their stuff. They're just blowing through things because they've been handing out those retribution patterns from RGR for a while. So everybody should have had enough for at least three patterns right now. Uh, so they should, you should have no less than 300, 400 ingots in those alone. Uh, and if you bought any of the gear daily deals, you've got way more than that. Uh, that's where just a ton of steel comes from, is from those daily deals. So, pay attention to what's going on out there, guys. Uh, it's just gotten easier, which means you don't have the excuse not to play anymore. Uh, uh, get the 60K rally going, get your Duelist Plus 5. That's going to maximize, maximize out your uh, battlefield treatment. 
which means you lose the fewest amount of troops. You're going to stay in the fight longer than anybody. Let the coiners get out front and hit the megas for you. All right. Uh, you get to play along and you're vital to the supporting role. And the, watch our rally v leader video so that the rally leaders know why they're bringing 12 guys in uh, Duelist and bringing their T8s and their T9s with them uh, in formation, not just we don't do max things. So pay attention to everything. I appreciate it. Please like. Please subscribe. Uh, I do respond to most comments. So uh, take your time. Make them thoughtful because they tend to stay up there. I appreciate it all. Thank you.